Hello everyone. In a number of my videos, I have talked about how to automate your game through MIDI QOL and a number of other modules. This can speed up spells, attack rolls, and more. However, MIDI QOL cannot handle all of the spells. It doesn't know, for example, how Toll the Dead works or Chromatic Orb. That is where the work of the community and macros comes into play and how we can expand our game. Today, the main module we'll be using, in addition to our normal setup, for automation is item macro. And all of the macros we'll be using come from Crymic and the work he has been doing. I'll be putting a link down in the description below to where you can see his GitHub page as well as his YouTube and Patreon. Let's go ahead and get started right away though with the item macro setup. If you haven't already in the MIDI QOL configuration, make sure you have included the add macro to call on use underneath the workflow tab. This is required for everything else moving forward. Next, we want to take a look at the spell that we're going to be modifying. In this case, it is Toll the Dead. Toll the Dead is unique because it can deal either 1d8 or 1d12 damage dependent upon the creature's health. After enabling the item macro module, you will see this right here. This is where we're going to paste our code in. Here we are at Crimic GitHub page. We're going to go ahead and jump right to 5e, then Spells, then Cantrip, and here we have Toll the Dead. Now before we copy the code, do make note the contributors often have comments at the top giving you instructions about the setup. In this case, we have MIDIQL on use, which means we need to put it in the bottom box, and we need to remove damage on the item card, letting the macro handle all of that. So make sure you check the comments at the top, and if you aren't sure, you could either play around with it yourself a little bit, or the Discord community I have found to be incredibly helpful. So we're just going to copy this code and then jump back to Foundry. So I've gone ahead and pasted in the code right here. Hit save macro. I've removed the damage. And then at the bottom, I have on use macro. I want to type in item macro, just like this. No quotation marks. And then hit enter and close it out. And we can now test it out and see if it works as expected. Here is the first casting. can see the roll is a 1d8 because they have not taken any damage and here is the second casting if it is working correctly it should be a 1d12 and there we have it 1d12 so pretty simple to set up and again this is thanks to the community and also thanks to the instructions that we could follow very easily let's take a look at a different spell chromatic orb we're going to grab the chromatic orb macro now but as we're doing this, I just want to make a quick note. If you look at the right hand side here, there are notes about when it was last updated. If it was updated a long time ago because Foundry is constantly changing, there is a chance the macro may not work. In which case you can still try or, you know, give a very polite message in the Discord and see. All right, let's go ahead and move forward though with the chromatic orb macro right here. So we have these same instructions. Paste in the code into the item macro save go to details remove the damage from the spell itself and then at the bottom where we have on use macro type in item macro enter and then close it out and let's test it out so here's our casting of the chromatic orb spell if it hits we should be given a choice about what type of damage we want so we see the attack comes in it hits and here is our dialogue we can go ahead and choose fire and we can see it rolls 3d8 fire damage. So that would be automatically calculated through MidiQL for any resistances or immunities, things of that nature. The final setup we're going to be looking at today is for a flask of holy water. If we take a look at the macro here, we can see we follow the same rules, except it's going to be applied to an item rather than a spell. And this macro is going to check to see whether it is an undead or a fiend. Let's go ahead and copy this and bring it right into our game. Here is our holy water. We did need to change a few things. We could add a target, any creature, make a new action cost, as well as make that action type utility. That allows us to have the item macro down here at the bottom. And then of course, having pasted our text in here. Given that our zombie does have undead next to the race, if we use the flask of holy water, we should expect to damage them. We do need to have them targeted in the same way as normal. And there we have it, 2d6, 9 radiant damage. 
that's where we'll be finishing up the video today. This is really just the start of what you can do with the item macro module and macros that have already been developed by the community, Primic and others. If you want to, you can take a look at all of the work that they've already put in or develop your own. Well, I hope this has been helpful and that you can use this in your own game. Thank you everyone for listening.